What's up, y'all? I am coming to you live with an unboxing. I just got this in the mail today. It's called the Insta360 1R Twin Edition. Uh, this one comes with the core, the dual lens 360 mod, the 4K wide angle mod, the battery base, the mounting bracket, the lens cap, and the charge cable. And I also got the selfie stick which is supposed to be the magical selfie stick that uh, becomes invisible when you edit and post. And um, yeah, I just got this in the mail, so I'm just gonna unbox it and see if it's cool or not. I also got the, the bullet time thing, but because of AKA the, the coronavirus uh, high demand for the, the bullet stick, uh, it didn't come at the same time, so I'm still waiting on that. Um, I was, lucky enough to even get this to begin with because of the coronavirus so i'm just glad we got this today because uh some people i know are still waiting on um their insta 360s so here we go I actually probably shouldn't be smelling it because racist comments. Um, yeah, cool. This is your battery base, the, the red part. It's kind of light. It has a good feel to it. Not bad. I'm assuming this is the core. So this part is the core. You need this to, to function, take pictures, and turn it on. This is the, the 4K uh, wide-angle lens. Um, so right off the bat, it says f-stop at 2.8, 16.4 um, millimeters. So 16.4 uh, millimeter equivalent. In case you guys are wondering uh, what focal length this is at, 16.4 millimeters equivalent. And the f-stop is uh, 2.8, which isn't bad. Um, Fuel-wise, it's actually pretty gosh darn smooth. It, it feels really nice to touch. Like, it's sexy, slick smooth. Um, the LCD screen is, I mean, compared to my thumb, it's about twice the size of my thumb. Uh, this is touch screen. Um, so I can see where a lot of people are complaining that the touch screen is a little smaller than that of like the GoPro or the GoPro Max. But I mean, for what you're getting in the size that you're getting it in, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it looks like a GoPro when you put it all together, except the, with the sexy red mist to it. Um, I'm just shocked that with everything together, it's, it's waterproof and, and dustproof up to a certain depth. Um, oops. So I'm just gonna put it down here for now. This is the 360 uh, camera part, and wow, this so this has an f-stop of this is this has a lower f-stop than that of the the 4K wide-angle lens. This is a uh, f-stop 2.0, and the focal length is 7.2 millimeters equivalent. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can read that, but there you go. Um, yeah, so the definitely the dual lens 360 is a lot heavier than this these two combined which is kind of cool it goes to show that this is probably what everyone's after for this instant 360 because everyone loves the 360 function on the instant 360 company oops let's see what else this thing comes with I guess I'm having a problem trying to open this up because I don't know where to open it up from. Ooh. Cables are in here. It is utilizing a USB to type C. So it's keeping up with today's uh, technology. You got yourself some silica gels to keep things dry. 
Got yourself a Insta360 microfiber cloth to keep your lens clean. Got yourself some swag stickers. More swag stickers. Some instruction manual. And this is probably the mounting bracket. Nice, so this is the mounting bracket. Um, mounting bracket feels okay. I wouldn't say super high quality. Um, it feels like somewhat flimsy, but somewhat high quality. Uh, I did a review on Moment before, uh, their, their video case thing, and it was like really flimsy and, and, and crappy quality, like, like it was 3D printed. This is somewhat feeling that of um, 3D printed, but still higher quality than Moment, to be honest. <laughs> um, we got yourself the lens cap, which is uh, rubber. This is probably for the 360 cam, which I think it is. Yeah, definitely the lens cap for the 360 cam. That's pretty cool. And then this is probably the end piece for the mounting bracket. It is. Now, uh, this is my first Insta360. Um, I've owned the DJI Osmo action camera, uh, which I wasn't disappointed with, but I never really utilized it as much as I should. And I'm probably gonna do the same thing with the Insta360 cam. I think what I what sold me on the Insta360 cam was that you can edit and post uh, the video angles for the most part. Um, but hopefully I utilize this more than the DJI Osmo Action, which I only used it like twice in my life. Um, yeah, so this has the same uh, mounting stuff as uh, the GoPro, so that's pretty cool. I would assume you could um, use some of the GoPro accessories with this. Now let's open up the selfie stick because the selfie stick was was also kind of expensive. I think these go for uh, roughly around twenty dollars, and then the bullet uh, add-on was like another fifty uh, total with the selfie stick. So it doesn't look. Oh, here we go. Cool. So this is as far as it goes. I'm assuming that's around one foot, two foot, three. Foot. But like roughly three and a half feet this isn't bad um, it doesn't feel super sturdy um, all it is is just a twisting mechanism to, to lock it in place uh, when it's closed up like this it actually feels really nice uh, like you could actually hurt someone with it I mean it is pretty hardcore um, but when open all the way out I feel like the integrity is lessened a little bit which obviously it is but yeah pretty cool just attach it to oh this one doesn't have a three quarters mount or uh, screw or threads so you're gonna have to mount it onto the bracket first and then attach it onto your selfie stick which is still okay but cool that is the unboxing for the 360 cam I hope you guys enjoyed this. I probably won't even do a review for this, to be honest. Thank you guys.